Hey, 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 it is your girl, Candice, with Cubs Driven Fashion, located right here in Birmingham, Alabama. It's been a while, it's been a while. It is Saturday, Saturday afternoon, and I am so happy and grateful to be able to come in here and share with you some good news that has been going on with Cubs. It has just been so wonderful. I'm excited, I'm thankful. And I'm just elite about everything that has happened. So I want to share this with you all. And today, what I will be doing to share with you, I am going to do my takeoff waist bees and put some new ones on. Hold up, hold up. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, I'm just trying to get some stuff in order. Yes, it is going to be a takeoff, take on. You see them bees back there? I am um, going to put on three of them and I am going to take off my beads from last year. I have had on a year and over, well, a year and a half or over, so um, about a year and a couple of, a month or so. I know it's been over a year or so. But I am going to take these beads off because Lord knows everything has been on these beads. Um, it's time for them to be removed because I have had new goals. I, ha I have achieved some of those new goals. And I want to add new beads on me for my achievement and what I have accomplishment. So today, this video is all about my accomplishment, telling y'all what has been going on with Cubs and putting on my new sweet waist beads and taking off the old ones. Beads may splatter all over everywhere, so you all bear with me. I'm just, I'm not trying to be perfect when I'm doing this. When I'm taking them off, I just want to get them off me. Um, neg all this negative energy that's probably, that's been on them because there's been some negative energy on me. All this, um, just anything that's not good. I want, they're heavy. I want to remove them off me. Um, they, and I had COVID. Yes, I have had COVID. I want to get them off me because they got COVID on them. So I'm just going to um, go over here with you all and let you all see um, these beads I have behind me. So if you like waist beads, if you are in love with waist beads, oh, you just get addicted to them. Ladies, 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 these are for you. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. You all can go to my shop. And they are on my website at www.candicecubsandsjury.com. They are on the site. So I am going to, the one I want to pick that I'm going to put on me today. Right now I have about 10 or 11 on me if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to put this one on, this beautiful waist bead on. They are towels. They are 50 inches long. They fit up to a size 3X up to a size 3x so i'm gonna put this one on with this gold one and i'm not a gold person but this gold is calling out to me i am going to add this beautiful one on right here as well and this black so these are my four beads i will be putting on me today in front of you guys. Yes, this one here. So you get to see it. It is gorgeous. Ladies, you would not be disappointed with these bees on you. Um, waist bees, they um, you know, they do their weight control, they keep your weight controlled. If you eat too much, if you're bloated, and right now I am bloated, so um, you will get to see that part as well. So, yes, I am bloated, but they're weight control. Um, um, sexy, fashion, um, spiritual, you get to use them for whatever you put your intentions into them for. You can wear them. You can wear them regardless, but they have so many different meanings behind them that, um, it makes you just, you know, it makes you want to be able to wear them. Yes, they come from Africa. Um, gun when they little kids, babies was born, you know, they would put them on the on the little kids to shape in their shapes. And um that's one of the reasons. But like I said, so many different benefits that you can use these waist beads for. And you don't have to be a certain size. 
to wear waist beads. Waist beads are for all women. Self-esteem, self-love. They're for all women. So I am about to put my waist beads on for you guys. Let me get situated here. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see. I probably have to come down some. I'm going to get my towel. Oh, Lord Jesus. Jesus. I, I have missed you guys. I have missed you guys, and I'm sorry. But I got to be more consistent because consistent brings loyalty. You know, you get to say, yeah, she's ready. She's consistent. I'm going to go over here and watch her. Um, I know when I come on, I'm going to have a good time with her. She's going to show us a good time. She's going to give us a word because that's what I try to do sometimes. So, yes, I have to be more consistent over here. So, what I'm going to do is get my scissors. I'm going to get my purple ones. You all know purple is my favorite color. I did not bring... I'm always forgetting to cook or something. I'm always forgetting to cook. I'm trying to... Oh, I have my bowl right there. But I don't want them to go in that bowl because they've been on me. And that's not good. These bees are going in the trash. They're going in the trash. So, um, yeah. I think you can see right there. Yeah. I want to rock with your baby all night long. No, I cannot sing, so don't be on. Um, Tell me, don't sing on here and do that. Oh, you see how I'm blowed, how that one going up. That's how they do. That's how they do. That one is going up. Yes, I am blowed. So I didn't have this one on long. I just put this one on back in December. If I'm not mistaken. But. um, huh, I got to take her off. Just so much. So much. That was easy. Hopefully the next ones will be easy. And I'm going to put them in here. Hey, okay. I, ooh. The girl is bloated. So, what I want to tell you all, I have good news. I have now partnered with Connor. Connor, where you um, buy up the jewelry and you can pay in um four installments. Yeah, I know I pronounced it wrong. I tell up some like some um I tell up some some names now. So it's like after pay, but it's it's corner, the one with the K. So um that's one of my accomplishments where I would be putting on with the bees. That's one of my accomplishments. Um, I am so proud of myself. I've been doing this and working at this so hard since 2014. And a lot of stuff has finally paid off now. And I am just grateful. I'm so grateful, y'all, and thankful. And it's it's been a long journey. Also, um, I have partnered up with a, um, up in um, Huntsville, Alabama. And I got some news going on with that. And when the big day come, I will also share that with you all. I'm just still waiting on the big day to come with that to share. And I will share that with you all. I'm just, huh, this one, I'm going to share that with you all. My Instagram page being constantly, consistent, consistent on Instagram. My numbers, if I can get a thousand and four viewers on Instagram, I can get a thousand viewers on him. And I just got to be consistent with it and patient and patient. And it's all my fault because I don't come on as much as I say I am with you all. This one I had, I just put this one on not too long ago. And oh my, my, my. I, I hate to take it off, but 
it's got to come off. I don't I don't even think I had this one on a year. But um yeah. It got some corona on it, so it's got to come off. Yes, it has some corona on it and bad energy, just being angry about some things and some people. You know, when you're trying to do something, you I guess everybody's not like me and I can't think everybody is like me. I just feel like if I'm if I'm going somewhere in a relationship and you see I'm I'm going at it hard. I just don't like I don't like being um content with how my life is. I don't. And I guess everybody is not the same. They just good with how it is. They don't want to better themselves, don't want nothing better. No, that's not me. I'm not I'm 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 not where I want to be. I'm better than where I was, but I'm not where I want to be. And when I get there, I still want to do, I still want better. I don't, I don't, I'm not good with being settled. And it's okay doing the same thing every day. Just don't, don't have no goals. I, I, my, I, I just don't. I, I can't deal with that. This is another one of my favorites. I cannot. I just have to. Uh, I just. I'm a go getter. I am a go getter. I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a hustler, in a, a a good way, legit. And I just feel like if I don't know, I could be wrong. Y'all tell me in the comment below, or whatever. If I'm in, if I'm in a relationship, I think we both need to be trying to come up some kind of way, and we both want things. We both want better for ourselves. We don't want to settle just because. I just can't. Mm -mm. So, me, I just, mm, no. Okay. A couple of those fell off, but I've been doing good. A lot of them hadn't, they didn't go down, they didn't go as bad as that. These right here, I don't have to cut off. They were so elastic. They come off. Had to get them. That's had to do. I'm sorry, but I am taking them off, and I'm gonna miss you guys. I am gonna miss my waist bees. They were so pretty on me. Um, my accomplishment that okay. What I had, I partnered with Connor. Um. Huntsville, I got some stuff going on up there. Um, and my you my, my Instagram channel is over a thousand. I'm good with that. My girl that really has been talking with us that I'm signed up with with a class, everything just been going like, oh, so so good. I'm learning so much from her. So she's like, I, I, she may not know her, but I, I call her my mentor. Cause it's 10 of us and she's really, really been giving us some good advice. I'm going to put this first one on. Oh, I love this one. And it's so pretty. I'm going to put this one on first. And this, this is my accomplishment with this one from up in Huntsville. Getting business ready and going. I have my LLC as well. I have my Dunn and Brad Street as well. So I'm I'm good. I'm doing good, and I am so proud of myself. Like I said, I've been doing this since 2014, and the things that have taken place in this month alone. And this what I started in what I started in December with Huntsville, it has it, it came to pass Thursday. And I was so tired Thursday I was gonna do a live with you all. I mean a video, but I was so tired. These are some beautiful bees. So this one is my accomplishment. I'm gonna put it here for um for um, accomplishing my goal up in Huntsville. 
and every accomplishment I make this this year, I will wrap a weight speed around me. So get ready to see me wrapping a weight speed every time I make an accomplishment. I'm going to leave just a little so my hand can go through. It can go up and go down. I don't want it too, too tight at all. So I'm going to take here. I'm going to cut that off. Get my bowl. This is my bowl with all my bees to make more bees. Um, each month I am ganked, I am going um forward to gain at least ten new customers. That's my goal for each month. My goals are just come. I'm, I'm, my goals are coming. So I have five more to go for this month. And I think we'll be out. I should I should do it by Monday. I should gain five more customers by Monday. If you like um, this video, subscribe to this video. Send your friends over, your family over. Like it, subscribe. Leave a nice comment below. But y'all know I, I get distracted and I don't come on for a minute. But I got to do better. It's me. It's me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I have to do better. I'm just all over the place right now, and I'm trying to um, get organized as much as I can. Okay, I nothing to show. I'm cutting a little more of this. These things are so addictive. I'm telling you, ladies, if you have not, it's time you do waste bees uh, for any size. Don't even think. Like I said, don't think that you cannot wear waste bees because you can. So you see that knot I have right there. I'm so proud of myself, y'all. I am. And I think if my mom was here, she would be so proud. I just cried at the table the other day when they gave me the news. I, I literally cried because she was the first somebody came to my mind. And even though she had dementia before she left here, I still feel that she would have felt my excitement and my achievements I had done that day. When I came back home, and I just smiled at her. Had she been here, she would have. I tied three knots. These are the surgical ties. I tied three knots on there. Let me, tie, let me cut that right there. But that's what I did. Now I'm going to take this over here and tie it again to secure that end. If you didn't see that, now I got that secured end. I'm going to do one more. Um, surgical knot but I wanted to come on here and do this because I hadn't been with you guys in a while and just to say even say happy new year to you if I didn't I think I did a bit of yours say happy new year but if I didn't it's still early in the year happy new year still January But yeah, just watch my videos. I'm just coming with so much more great news, so much more content I can try to give you all. Think of some stuff to do. So I put the surgical knot back in and I tied it. I'm going to tie it one more time. And that should hold it. Cut that off, take it around. Voila. I may not put all of them on here with you guys, but I just wanted to show you what I had going on. I'm going to add this gold one. And this gold one going to be for my hips down here. I'm going to add it down here instead of right there. I'm going to put this gold one right here. I like that. That is so sexy. 
this gold is so sexy yes so i'm gonna put that here ladies i'm telling you yeah i better get into these waist beads if you have not if you have not it's time you done do i'm serious the men love them on you, especially your significant other. He loves to see you with these on. And Valentine's coming up. Hmm. Girl, you put these on. You got, I mean, you already got them on you. And you know after you go out and eat what's going to happen when you come home. You know what's going to happen. So why not let waste bees be on you and be sexy with them? Why not? Give it all of it, girl. Give him all of it. Yeah, you know, we just life is so, whew, so crazy. We have so much going on in this world. Just be thankful and grateful. Try to um just love on the people. Just show love. Okay, why y'all acting up? I don't feel like doing nothing. When I get through doing this, I'm supposed to go out and eat. I don't feel like going out nowhere. I really do. My mind beats so much now. I'm so consumed by my business being where it need to be. I got plenty of time to do that when I get where I want to get. I got plenty of time to have fun and all of that. And then with COVID out, who the hell wants to be out in the streets? I know I don't for real. I'm scared. I ain't had it. I ain't trying to get it no more. And I ain't had it twice and was doing everything. Had to have the shots. Doing everything they say do and still got it. But I know this, this shit come from my job. I hear picking it, picking this stuff up. Taking it back to the building, trying to keep gloves on, keep a mask on. It's 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 hard out here doing when you first first um you on that first line with this. I I I, I take my hats off to the doctors and nurses. I really do because it being I dealt with it like that, it's it's something serious. Doing my surgery could not again. Tired and a Took it around and tie again. Do one more surgical knot. And then tie a knot and we're done. But yes, when you out here on that front line, it's no joke. Not at all. And that's why I go so hard with my business Well, I can one day come off. And I don't have to be out here with this mess. I don't, I don't have to go outside and then go to the grocery store, the post office, drop this stuff off, and bring my behind home. I can shop online if I want to shop for something. It's, just, it's, it's crazy out here now. And it's making people crazy as well. And we ain't going back to the norm. We can't do nothing but go forward. We can't go backwards. Mm-mm. Ain't, it ain't going to be like it used to be. This is the day I'm new. Put my knot in here and I am through. Okay, guys. That's it for that one. My new bees on me. I have this black one. Gorgeous black. This is for me getting my thousand and forces um, followers on Instagram. We are at 129 over here. Come on, y'all. Let's push it. I told you if we get 300, I'm giving away. 
I'm giving away a free gift. I'm going to put this one up here to make sure it kind of keep my weight. Even though, you know, I get bloated. So it'll let me know when I'm bloated and when I'm not bloated. That's why this one's going to go up at the top. Yeah. Put this one up here. I know y'all probably like, blow the gut, please. You the oh, honey. Yeah, I am Lil. But Lil people, um, honey, these things go up and down on me too. Yes, they do. And I guess weighing 135 pounds, Lil, then, hmm. But size doesn't matter to me. In a way, I've been like this all my life. I just got up to the 135 when I got 50. When I turned 50, that's when the little weight started trying to come on. Then, you know, you be in them good loving relationships. You get you, you gain weight when you're in a good loving relationship. I guess when I was in that, that's when I gained the weight. Hell, I thought it was. But I gained the weight either way. But, um... Sometimes that can that can go wrong as well. Y'all, I got bees probably going everywhere, but that's fine. This is my art room, and that's what it's for. If you want waist beads, go to my website. If you want jewelry, men or women, I sell jewelry for men and women. Go to my website. Check me out and get your handmade jewelry. Everything is made with love and passion and great energy. And it's to make you feel good. I make, I make my jewelry. So when you put it on, you feel real good when you put it on. Like these, give you just get that self love, just yes, you just especially if your self esteem is low, then you build that. Whatever you want to man, you know your intentions you have, what you want to do, you just put your intentions into them. Again, they fit up to a size 3X. Yes, they do. And you can see they are tie on. Now, I can do the elastic. If you want the elastic, I'll do the elastic. It's up to you. But I like the tie on better. You can bathe in these. You can exercise in these. You can do just about what you want to do on them, but don't let nobody put on them. Mm -mm. You don't want nobody putting on your beads and being rough with you, with your beads on. No, you don't. You don't even want them being rough with you when you're in bed with them, baby. You better tell them to take your time with these beads. Watch my beads. Watch my beads now. Yes. They are wonderful to have on. And most people don't know. You all just seeing that I have some on. Most people don't see my waist beads. I don't wear them out. The only time I may wear my waist beads out where you will see them is when I'm bending. Because I want this part of me marketing them is when I'm bending. But other than that, I don't wear my waist beads out. They're under my clothes at all times until I'm vending. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I hope y'all say it is going well. Mine's is going good right now. Like I said, I'm tired. I really don't want to go anywhere. But I'm going to go ahead on and go. And then again, I made not shit. 
I'm just comfortable now and I'm at peace just being at home. I'm at peace just being at home. I don't have to. It ain't all about that getting out with me. I don't have to do all that no more. So crazy out here now. That was going to go right there. And this is the last one. Oh, I'm going to hurry up. This is like 30. And this one here I did for um, Instagram. I did for my business. This is for Partner with Connor. These beautiful bees. You will find them on my website. Oh, I love these. And they're going to go right down in here as well. I miss my other ones already. Yes, I do. Miss them. And that was like 11 I had on. But these here, for each accomplishment I make this year, again, I will add them. And you can do that too. Just showing you that you, 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 what you put out to do, it came to pass. That's all it is. What you put out, it came to pass. And this a reminder that you can do anything you want to do. That's what this is. Reminding you that you can do whatever you set your mind to, you can do it. I don't care how old you are. I had a, it's a, um, and she's on here, um, I think it's Wear by Art by J, H, J, but her name is Miss Hattie, and she's in her 70s. She had a, had a YouTube channel, and what she did, she shouted me out and some old ladies out. She said that we, off of YouTube, inspired her. She creates jewelry like we do, handmade painted earrings. And she said we inspired her to start just get out doing her earrings, getting more into her earrings. And she's on my Instagram page now. She's on my Facebook page. When I said that, mo that did something to me. For an older lady to come out and say how I inspired her and the other ladies, how she just came into her art. And working on her art and doing it and paint. And she's doing her YouTube channels and she's showing her work. That did something to me. I was, I was, I was like, wow. I, I, I inspired somebody. Wow. You always want to make sure that you don't leave anything showing that they're together. It, I was, y'all just don't know. And I have talked with her on the phone. And I'm glad to have um, that we have become acquainted from YouTube, from me just doing YouTube, not knowing she was watching me like that, not knowing it at all. And now she's in her 70s and she's painting earrings and selling earrings. Come on. When that, when that happens, when you do something like you can't do nothing but feel good about what you do. I can't stop. It just goes up from here. I can't. And whatever you're doing, and it's going, even if it's not going, don't give up. Don't give up. Because when you give up, you're giving the devil just what he want. The enemy want to see you quit, and we can't quit. Don't give up. It's plenty of times I have wanted to. Plenty of times. Not too long ago, but I can't. I have... I done came too far and too much is in store now. I can't give up. And I won't. I, I feel like if I give up, I just fail. I, would, I, I fail myself. I let myself down. Don't do that. Whatever you're doing, stay on board. Stay on board. God got you. He know when the time is right. He know it. He got you, so don't, don't. That just really touched my heart to know that she had, um, I had, me and the other girls had inspired. And one of the girls sent it to me, and I was looking at the YouTube, but didn't finish it. And when she came back, she said, you ain't hear who else she shouted out? And I was like, no. She said, you were saying, I went back and listened. I was like, wow. 
Wow. So, here we are. The new waist bees. I know the lighting was kind of bad, but these are my new waist bees. And each one of them is an accomplishment for what I have done. And I just want to thank you all for watching me. I want to thank you all for just taking the time to look at this video. Even if you didn't look at the whole video, you saw some of it. So I thank you all for coming in and taking the time to watch this video with me. While I do this town and take off, you know, my lightning. It's a fool because I don't know, but hey, it is what it is, y'all. And it is Saturday. I just want to say y'all have a blessed, blessed weekend. Just stay prayed up. One day maybe we'll be over all this mess that's going on with these coronas and all these other different viruses coming out. And maybe that, um, maybe God just really trying to show us something, tell us something. Families get together. Let's get back to how you used to be. Time out for the craziness. Sit at the table together. Talk. Find out what's going on in each other's lives. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Spend time together. Because we don't do that now. We all in a rush. Everybody's doing something. Got all the day go by so quick. We got this. We got that. We don't sit down, sit down to just say, hey, how was your day? How, what did you accomplish today? What you do? What went on? You know, just pray together at the table. Sit at the table, eat and pray together. We got to get better. We have to. We have to get better. And maybe this is one of the reasons God got it like it is. And I just don't want to. And it may be man doing it too. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's some crazy. It's craziness. And I just hope one day that it stops. But with that being said, I love you all. Peace out. Show love. Love on somebody. Give somebody some hugs and kisses. And just be kind to somebody. Say a kind word to somebody. Because I'm Candace. I'm Candace. I'm Candace with Cubs. Cubs, jewelry and fashion. I am your girl. Yes, I am. I am your Birmingham jewelry maker. Bye-bye.